Blake here with SLF Motion. Today we will be installing an Evo Speed System for SRAM 11 speed ETAP rear derailleur. This particular bike has our previous generation Hyper Speed System already installed. Removal of this cage is the same as removal of a stock cage. Tools required for this installation are a Phillips screwdriver for the removal of the stock cage stop screw, two millimeter hex for the SLF motion stop screw, a T6 Torx for removal of the derailleur window, and the potential use of a hook to remove the clip. First step, remove the chain and the rear wheel. Now you'll shift your derailleur into its open position. And next, we will remove the rotation stop screw. Note the tension on the internal spring, so hold on to the cage with one hand while removing the screw. Once the screw is removed, go ahead and allow it to rotate up and over. Now we're ready to remove the cage. Pull your derailleur back and you'll see a little triangular door. There's a screw hidden there. You're going to use your T6 Torx and remove. Once removed, now I like to use a little pick. Keep tension on the cage and it'll loosen up the fork inside. You will pull that fork out and now the cage is ready to slide out. With the stock cage removed from your derailleur, we are now ready to prep your Evo system. This one's pretty difficult. Pay close attention. Remove spring, insert spring. We're ready to go to the bike. With the Evo system prepped, we are now ready to install it onto the derailleur. You'll notice there's a tab on the spring and there is a hole inside the derailleur. It's just kind of a feel thing. Spin it around until you feel the tab click into the hole. You know you've got it. Next step, reinstall the little metal fork. And now we'll reinstall the cover using your T6 Torx. Now we will remove the stop screw. Please pay close attention. This next step is critical. If not performed correctly, your system will not perform as designed. We need to create tension inside the derailleur with the spring. So rotate your cage up, over, backwards until you can reinstall the stop screw. With the rear wheel now on, we are ready to reinstall the chain. If you're coming from a previous oversized system, then you already know your chain length and you should be good to go. If this is your first oversized system install and you're starting with a new uncut chain, we're gonna have to take some links out. I wish I could tell you exactly how many you have to take out, but unfortunately, with variables such as cassette sizes, front chain ring sizes, frame sizing, there's not one perfect answer for you. So unless you're comfortable shortening your chain to the correct length, just take it to your local bike shop and they can get you squared away. Lastly, we have four more steps to get your Evo system set up. We will readjust and set your B screw, your high limit screw, your low limit screw, and lastly and most important, you will readjust the trim of your rear derailleur. Just wanted to say thanks to Devin Loftus for letting us borrow his beautiful Stein and Fenton F1. Devin gave it to us a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna do a little cleaning before my favorite step of every installation.